Hey guys, so I've um, never been on a diet or anything. I do exercise occasionally, but I do have some belly fat that I would like to lose. So I mean, why not? I I thought why not try the military diet? It's just three days, and then you have those four consecutive days that you just should eat from the list they say you should eat and I never really had a problem with eating less I love food, I love eating a lot and stuff but I never really had a problem with eating less so we'll see if this one will keep me satisfied or if I die of hunger and I think I will be exercising throughout the time just because I have my schedule that I follow and I don't want to miss out on those three days and yeah I just really want to get into shape so I started uh, to exercise regularly 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 yeah I can't say the word um for the past two weeks so yeah let's see where this leads me okay let's go make the breakfast i didn't weigh in today but i know that i have 66 kilograms and i i did measure my belly and waist today okay so here is my number one day breakfast i don't have a grip for it so i did slice up a half of uh, an apple because they are similar in the calorie count and my toast is slightly smaller than the regular size so I mean it is balanced out and here I have my black tea because I hate I hate co coffee it just doesn't fit with me I'm always too hyper I also did switch from peanut butter to Nutella. Instead of two tablespoons of uh, peanut butter, I put one tablespoon of uh, Nutella on my toast. Because I don't have peanut butter, I just finished it. I can't believe I'm telling my food eating. breakfast done and I'm gonna drink my tea uh, by my computer because it's too hot okay here goes the second meal of the day tuna toast and black tea well this one went down awfully quickly but for now, I feel not full, but I'm pretty much satisfied. Okay, here is the last meal of the day. We've got green beans, three ounces of chicken, one small apple, half a banana, and I know I should be having ice cream, but we don't have one at home, and I don't feel like eating ice cream anyway. So I froze the other half banana and mixed it with 100 milliliters milk and, uh, and vanilla essence. It's exactly the same amount of calories. hungry after lunch around between 3 and 5 I think I did need to uh, take 
take a nap because I was quite tired around 4 but other than that it was okay and yeah the dinner was kind of quite a lot as to eat at once I don't like apples so that made it even harder and yeah I did exercise a bit like 15-20 minutes maybe and I did go out for I think 3 hours after dinner and yeah it was okay then but I mean after lunch I did feel quite tired and hungry but yeah it was great see you tomorrow good night here is today's breakfast I got uh, one toast, one egg, and half a banana. All done. Let's see you at lunch. And here is lunch. One cup of cottage cheese, one hard-boiled egg, and I don't like salting crackers, so I have one slice of matzahs. And lunch is done. See you at dinner. Good morning guys. So here is today's breakfast. I should be having salt and crackers but I told you about those yesterday. I don't like them. And there's an apple. And I should be having cheddar but I uh, we don't have one at home so I put in one slice of gouda. Okay, breakfast finished and I'm gonna take the apple to my room with me and eat it there. And here is a free lunch toast and one egg. Sum everything up. I lost one and a half kilos, which is three pounds. I did also lose two centimeters from my waist. I don't know about my belly because I got my period, so I was bloated, and I think I did gain my kilos back because I think it was mostly water weight or something like that. But I mean. You could, ha could could see the results in the photos, you could really see them in, even in per person. But they are not per permanent if you don't follow the 4 meal plan after the diet and if you don't exercise it's useless. So of course you have to exercise, you have to follow the plan and you need to make changes after the diet, not just I mean, it is magic. It won't just disappear everything in a week. You need to need to change something in your diet and your lifestyle. It did change something in me. I stopped eating foods just because I said, "Oh, I have to eat. I haven't eaten I don't know how long." And I just really like the taste of food, so I I kind of miss it when I don't have it there. So. The diet did help me with that. Um, I mean, if I crave something, if I get, if I like, if I want to eat something speci specific, I set a time when I will eat it and it works. Or if, if I want 
really crave chocolate or something I eat only one square of it I do like sweet stuff and I did, did stop eating um, chips and stuff like that I think a year or two ago and I never really craved them but I still do like pizza and stuff like that but after the diet I I craved them once and I made my pizza but it was like a small pizza but it isn't I am it surprised it really surprised me that I've been craving healthy food lately does that make sense? 